to capital gains or capital gains to assume forty five three and forty five four. At least I have not seen the intermediate level this question. Uh, forty five three will basically apply when the partner brings in any capital asset as a capital contribution. Forty five four will apply when the firm distributes assets on dissolution. Now, here partnership accounts, uh, some part thing. Now, partner A brings land as a capital contribution to border banks. Law. But now, the park board, then we would not have seen what could be the tax implication about my accounting entry port. Now, we would have done. Suppose if uh, <clears throat> the land is brought in or any capital asset is brought by the partner as a capital contribution or otherwise. So what? Forty-five three specifically provides that you have to pay tax on the basis of amount recorded in the books of accounts that be taken as a deemed consideration. So if I take a land to my uh, partnership firm, which I purchase for one lakh, which is recorded at one crore, or na, then I have to pay tax on the difference between one crore minus one lakh. So that is the purpose of forty-five three. So. Whereas when the firm distributes on dissolution, now here account some la number partner month la, one of the partner agrees to take over motor car at an agreed value. Are they number one? Settlement value or agreed value, la. or one of the partner agrees to take up foreign problems la number one. One of the partner agrees to take over the painting at an agreed value. So to settle his accounts. So now what forty five four says if a partner gets any asset. On dissolution of the firm, then the yeah. fair market value will be taken as a deemed consideration. The fair market value will be taken as deemed consideration. Forty-five three la pata na fair market value is irrelevant. Book value is relevant. The amount recorded in the books of accounts is going to be taken as a consideration. Thus, forty-five four la settlement value is not relevant, but fair market value is relevant. In forty-five three, partner is going to pay capital gains tax, whereas in forty-five four. The firm will have to pay the capital gains tax. So these are some differences between 453 and 554. The inner main 453 and 454 are there because generally partnership firm and partners are not different; they are same. So therefore, it is possible for you to uh, start a firm, take your assets there, and then sell the asset, take as your settlement of accounts by way of a capital discharge. So to prevent this, they have 453 and 454. This comes more at the final level, not at the intermediate level. There in the syllabus, therefore, we are discussing. Forty-five five is also something which uh, surprisingly uh, a more equation at the final level, but I feel it's a very important uh, provision. So for forty-five five, if one more just to recall, but now two forty-seven clause Y was always there in the income tax. Two forty-seven clause three compulsory equation is always a transfer. So now why you need a separate charging section? This particular charging section was introduced only from assessment year two thousand nineteen eighty-eight eighty-nine. Uh, is there any thought process when you one of you can have why you need a separate charging section? So forty-five five is trying to split the capital gains computation into two parts. But when the section will apply, if it is compulsory accrued under any law, the consideration for which is determined or approved by either central government or RBA. So if the consideration is approved by state government, the section will not apply unless you have the consideration part of it. In the part of it, you have to apply either by central government or RBA. This part of section state government doesn't apply. How about compulsory accrued? What are going to do is the compensation will be split into initial compensation enhancement. So the provision is correct. Tap up no la. Initial compensation is taxable in the previous year in which such compensation or part thereof is first received by the SSC. Very interesting or what? The initial compensation one day is taxable in the year of first receipt. That means if you compensation you get in two three installments na kora. Entire compensation will be taxable in the year of first receipt. Year of transfer is not there. Year of receipt is not there. It will be first receipt. Whereas enhanced or additional compensation, 
will be taxable in the previous year in which such compensation is received by the assessor. So upon the additional compensation enhanced Archana, as and when you receive it is taxable. Initial compensation of the first proceed la taxable. Punch up day or visualize pun the right hand side issues of Padikama. So upon a cost end up under the order the question. How do you adjust the cost? Because the capital asset transfer is one, but it's going to be taxing two different previous years. See, normally we lose sight of this particular point. We are now on 4th of May 2020. If I get the initial compensation today, I don't know when the enhancement will come and how much enhancement will come. The question is, he received the additional compensation in 2023. 2023, you should have written the exam. At least the exam will start. So, but three months before that is the fact. But in the exam, we will have a class start. Okay, so therefore, one question to visualize, in the context of the number, don't go by what is there in the question. Just visualize for a moment. Can I know how much the court will give? When it will give? Not possible at all. But the question like initial compensation 10 lakhs, additional compensation 5 lakhs. Adina, students with the 2 is to 1 ratio of Without realizing the fact, today you are doing the question, but what you do not know this position, when and how much it will be seen. But real So therefore, on the standpoint, one point you can easily understand what the section says is initial compensation order, entire cost of acquisition, cost of improvement will be adjusted. Your students proportionate You can adjust the entire cost of acquisition, cost of improvement against the initial compensation. Therefore, cost of acquisition, cost of input will be taken as zero for enhanced compensation. So, if you visualize anybody, and in the provision, though it's an important provision, it's very frequent and intermediate. So, if you spend extra 5-10 minutes, spend will be the dream surprise. It's important, but not going to be there in the exam. The chances are very low. The final is very regular, the intermediate is very low. So once number cost of acquisition, cost of improvement point about the cover on second point computation of capital gains paid 48 consideration minus expenses minus cost or index to cost other capital gains cost of acquisition cost of improvement zero and sort on a section law but expenses but it will be there unless I incur the expense yeah unless I incur the legal expense now court to go on and a compensation cutting whether that expenses which I incur cannot be claimed. Unfortunately, the section is silent. So a lot of decisions are there to support that the expenses in connection with the transfer, the legal expenses you incur, will be allowed as deduction against the enhanced compensation. In a cost of acquisition, cost of improvement, na zero hundred expenses pati solla. Therefore, you can claim the legal expenses as deduction. So apo. Next point was the enhanced compensation, short term or long term. See, any transfer complete or once the government passes the order compulsory acquiring your property, and it came to the over transfer. Year of taxability, the first receipt enhanced. Yeah, so that means short term, long term, it will be date of acquisition to the date of transfer. Therefore, you don't even have to consider it till date of first receipt, even for initial compensation. Now, enhanced compensation is very simple. Original capital gains is short term. Enhanced will also be short term. Original is long term. Enhanced will also be long term. So, the short term or long term depends only on the original capital gains. So, <clears throat> what if the enhanced compensation disputed? Original compensation is one amount. Other court borrow, say Madras court borrow. Madras court gives an enhancement. If what Tamil Nadu government can do is it has got two choices pay the amount, keep quiet. 
alternately what they can do is they may feel that madras high court has given more compensation than what the ssc deserves abdin solta avanga enna pannalam they can go to the supreme court so whether in those circumstances can we say the amount is not taxable the answer is no when in the enhanced compensation dispute panna kuda you had a paid tax in the year of receipt so year of receipt la you have to pay tax so whether that enhanced compensation disputed or not but one or related question na varna how were any compensation received in pursuance of an interim order of a court or tribunal or other authority shall be deemed with income chargeable under the head cap against of the previous year in which final order of such court tribunal or other authority is made idu or interesting ana point previous point edho und dispute a irukapra nenai kudad actually ipo all our pet la or property ni vechirukra or ground anga 3 crore rupaya porthu nachuma government acquires the property and gives you compensation of 10 lakhs 3 crore rupaya property ku 10 lakhs announce pandranga appadi enna pannuva odane tak 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 nu or court ku po court ku poi indha mari just see 3 crores anga irukku 10 lakhs kuduthu vaanga compensation அப்ப இப்ப கோர்ட் என்ன பண்ணலாம் இந்த கேட்டர் போட்டு ஹியர் பண்ணி இது லிஸ்ட் ஆகி இப்ப இந்த கோவிட்ல பல கேஸ் லிஸ்ட் ஆகல இந்த மாதிரி காமன் காம்பன்சேஷன்ல லிஸ்ட் ஆகி அதை வந்து ஹியர் பண்ணி போறதுக்குள்ள பயங்கர இது இருக்கும் இல்லையா சோ தர் ஃபார் வாட் தி கோர்ட் கேன் டூ இஸ் பிரைம் ஆஃப் ஐசி மூணு கோடி ரூபாய் டென் லேக்ஸ் வி ஆர்டர் அண்ட் இன்டர்ம் ரிலீஃப் ஆஃப் பிப்டி லேக்ஸ் கேஸ் போஸ்டட் பின்னாடி திஸ் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி வி கால் இட் அஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர்ம் இன்ஜங்ஷன் that can be granted by some court if prime of ac the decision of the government is shocking so apo in the point la solrom if any compensation is received previous point la solrom final order potta ch court and the compensation kudutha ch and the compensation in dispute pandriyo pandriyo it is taxable but here court is not disposing of your case it only says 3 crore property ki 10 lakh rupaya aniyayam ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒரு வில் கிவ் தி இன்டர்ம் ரிலீஃப் கேஸ் அப்புறம் போடுமோ முதல்ல ஒரு ரிலீஃப் கொடு இல்லனா அசிசி வந்து ஆபரேஷன் சக்சஸ் பேஷன் டெட் ஆகும் சோ தட் இன்டர்ம் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் cannot be taxed until such time the final order is passed by the court so nariya case la the government has also noticed yaar in the court the proceedings la some bore adikum court ku pona ivan vaida avanga avanga vaida avanga nee rendu munna court ku poi vandala unakku stressful ah irukum So, if you are daily going to go to the world, you will be able to get a lot of money. Now, you will be able to get a section ID card. But, in that case, there will be some element of frustration will be there when you just see the court listening to various cases. Hospital courts will be able to get a sickening feeling in the hospital. Generally. So, in that case, the government has found that the original person who has filed the case has never got the compensation. Our ticket will be there. so what will happen if that compensation is paid to the legal heir nambo deposit scheme paakumbodhu or point paakum deposit scheme if it is received by the legal it is not taxable but what if i file enna pandranga na specific or point they given if due to reason of death or for any other reason if some other person receives an enhanced compensation the person receiving that compensation will be taxed so இது ஒரு சின்ன இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்கான பாயிண்ட் இல்லையா டெபாசிட் ஸ்கீம் போஸ்ட் டெத் போர்ட் சர்க்குல இருக்கு நாட் டாக்ஸபிள் பட் என்ஹான்ஸ் காம்பன்சேஷன் போஸ்ட் டெத் ரிசீவ் பை சம் अदर पर्सन which is a legal hand taxable entire amount will be taken as a taxable amount in the hands of legal hand இதுதான் ஒரு இன்கம் tax ஓட ஒரு பியூட்டிங் கூட சொல்லலாம் நம்ம ஒரு ப்ரொவிஷன் பாத்துறோம் கேபிடல் கெயின்ஸ்ல லீகலா டாக்ஸபிள் நாட் டாக்ஸபிள் அடுத்த ப்ரொவிஷன் பார்த்தா லீகலா டாக்ஸபிள் இல்ல இல்லனா ஸ்பெசிபிக் ப்ரொவிஷன் இருக்கு லால to tax the the same because based on the experience the government has found that we should not leave this therefore we'll tax it so for last of our discussion what will happen to the interest for interest porta varaikku normally the enhancement is automatic enhancement aagum bodu land acquisition aagla you have to give the interest for 5 years no delay aradhu nu vechikken compensation and 5 years the interest kudukkanum so in the 5 years interest kudukkaradhu in which year it is taxable 
year on year basis or receipt basis. Why this question arises? I don't know for salary, house property, capital gains. Method of accounting is not relevant. Salary on the due or receipt basis, whichever is earlier. House property, rent receipt are receivable. Municipal taxes, payment basis. Interest accrual basis. Capital gains, 45, one year of transfer. 45, five year of first receipt. 45, five enhancement additional receipt. When you accrual basis accounting, initial compensation, first receipt is taxable. Enhanced compensation as an receipt is taxable. Accounting method is in the moon head of income. And for income from other sources, the taxability is going to depend on the method of accounting. So because it is going to be based on method of accounting, so one issue which arises now, should the interest be taxable year on year basis or it will be taxable only on the basis of receipt. For Romanol in the section, it will be taxable only on year on year basis based on the decision of the Supreme Court. But year on year basis, we tax on that problem. Reassessment will be a challenge. But if you tax on that, you can reopen the tax. Reopen the time limit, there are conditions. So therefore, what the government has done, we will recall the other sources section, 56, 2, 5, 6, 7. 5 individual HUF only cash. 6 individual HUF only cash gifts. 56, 2, 7. Cash and kind only for individual HUF. Any person to any person rather than 56 to 10 and so no. 8 to 9 is a About second day, you have to go to the next day. 7 and the near you jump on the 10th day. Class 8 day, class 9 day. Class 9 year, we discuss the forfeiture of advance money. We have to go to the forfeiture of advance money from 1 4 2014 will be taxes income from other sources. Up of 56 to 9 you patache 7 very important near at 10 bottom of missing section on the 56 to 8 other encounters the interest on enhanced compensation will be taxable under income from other sources by virtue of 56 to 8 but it will be taxable only in the year of receipt even if you follow mercantile base of accounting you ought to pay tax only in the year of receipt, but you are eligible for a 50% standard action. 50% standard action. The standard action section is the example of summer capital or not. Salary lower standard action, house profit lower standard action, family pension lower standard action, people 56 to 8 core standard action. You will get 50% standard action. For Anjar Vasha interest to worry about tax argonochke, Anjar Vasha interest to worry about tax argonochke. Your tax rate will go up. Plus, you also incur some legal expenses to collect the interest. So, I don't know na, or or either kiri salary le thamari multiple years varum bodi eight nine one relief no na kudukaro. House property le standard action kudukaro. When it comes to question of other sources also, we give a standard action of fifty percent on your interest income. So, this is fifty six to eight. So, so we're quicker than the composite acquisition, period provision, quick over summary is one 45.5 will apply from assessment in 88.89. When your consideration is disputed, when you go for enhancement, the taxability will be split into two points, initial compensation, enhanced compensation. Initial compensation will be taxable in the of first receipt. Enhanced or additional compensation will be taxable as and when you receive. However, the entire cost of acquisition or cost of improvement will be adjusted against the initial compensation. The cost of acquisition, cost of improvement taken is zero for enhanced compensation. Though the cost of acquisition, cost of improvement are zero, you can claim legal expenses for the same. Original capital gains if it is long term, enhanced is also long term. If originally short term, enhanced will also be short term. One very, very important point is on indexation, like what we discussed in 45.2. Year of transfer, 247 says compulsory acquisition of the transfer, the date on which collector passes the order or award, that's it. But taxability on the year of first receipt. If me practical or differ at the you see exams for Nichima differ the, there will be initial 
year of uh, compensation no uh, uh, year of acquisition no year of receipt no definitely are different ah so apo once again like what we did in 45 do do the indexation only up to compulsory acquisition date taxability ku year different ah irukum and then you rendu moonu sam potuna 289 automatically work out avum mind la but be careful you should index only up to year of compulsory acquisition ena indexation provision says cost of acquisition into year of transfer divided by year of acquisition so year of receipt la tax aana kuda should only index up to date of transfer only adu or mukhyamana point indala poratha varaikum so enhanced compensation be taxable in the year of receipt even if it is disputed however if it is an interim relief from the court before passing the final order it cannot be taxed it can be taxed only on the passing of final order interest on enhanced compensation be taxable under income from other sources in the year of receipt after 50% standard deduction so these are some very interesting points in 455 i'm not going to do any question on 455 maybe i'll just or uh, small question mana nam nam idla drive la podran but generally i have not seen this question for last 30 years so adu or maaruma antha theriyala actually so i am konjam unakku and important edhu illu therum very important provision but for some reason is not coming up in the written exam so capital gains on joint developed right means the last of the specific charging sections which is 455 5a the 455 5a vandu or romba idu marathukku munadi paathina or there is a bit controversy over how to tax the joint development agreements joint development agreements na you or land vechirukra so adha vandu or builder vandu one approach pandraru na or 8 flat idla katren ungalku 4 flat enakku 4 flat so na enoda 4 flat வெளியாளுக்கு <laughs> அப்ப லக் ஃப்ரம் தி பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ ஆஃப் தி லேண்ட் ஓனர் லேண்ட் ஓனரா இருக்கலாம் ஓல்டு பில்டிங்கா இருக்கலாம் ரெசிடென்சியல் ஹவுஸ் எப்படி வேணா இருக்கலாம் பில்டிங்காவும் இருக்கலாம் லேண்டா இருக்கலாம் சும்மா எக்ஸாம்பிளுக்காக நான் லேண்ட் சொன்ன அவ்வளவுதான் சோ இப்போ இப்ப நான் வந்து என்ன பண்றேன் சில சாஸ்டியம் பிப்டி பிப்டி ஒரு டென் தௌசண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட் இருக்கலாம் என்னோட ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட்ல பில்டர் இஸ் கோன் டு கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் போர் பிளாட்ஸ் மீ ஐம் கோன் டு கிவ் மை பிப்டி பர்சன்ட் லேண்ட் டீம் ஃபார் ஹிம் டு கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் அண்ட் செல் டு ஒன் அவுட்சைடர் இப்போ இதனுடைய கேபிட் கெயின்ஸ் எப்போ வரும் அப்படின்றது ஒரு பெரிய டிஸ்பியூட் இருந்தது டூ ஃபார்ட்டி செவன் கிளாஸ் ஃபைவ் எனி டிரான்சாக்ஷன் விச் அலவ்ஸ் தி பொசன் ஆன் பார்ட் பர்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் கான்ட்ராக்ட் ஸோ இப்போ இந்த என்னுடைய லேண்ட்லேயோ என்னோட பில்டிங்கை டெமாலிஷ் பண்ணியோ ஃபிளாட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஐ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் த தி பில்டர் தி லேண்ட் ஸோ ஐம் அலோவிங் பொசன் ஆஃப் மை லேண்ட் டு ஹிம் ஸோ வாட் தி இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் இஸ் சேம் you have to pay tax the moment you give him the possession to construct flat avaru epo construction mudipar 3 varshamo 4 varshamo epo mudi mudipar but na ipo ye tax katna enga thappu na pandrathu tax cutter so this was dragging on for quite some time because the 247 class 5 was invoked by the income tax department that you have to pay tax as soon as you give the land to the builder adu kuduthone avaru 3 varsham 4 varsham kechi 4 varsham kechi anak flat e varum அப்போ ஆனால் டேக்ஸ் கட்டுறது போல இமீடியட்டாக கட்டுறா போல கோட்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ ஹேவிங் சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வியூஸ் ஸோ அதை இப்போ செட்டில் பண்ணுறதுக்காக ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் இயர் ஒரு செக்ஷன் வச்சுக்கோம் இட்ஸ் பேசிக்லி ஃபார் ஜாயிண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் அக்ரிமெண்ட் ஸோ கேபிட் கெயின்ஸ் ஆர் ஏசிங் டு ஒன் எஸ்எஸ்சி பிங் இன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ஆர் ஹெச்ஓ ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் அ கேபிட் அசட் பிங் லேண்ட் ஆர் பில்டிங் ஆர் போத் அண்டர் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபைட் அக்ரிமெண்ட் so what will be the full value of consideration the stamp duty value on the date of issue of the said certificate of his share being land or building or both in the project as increased by consideration received in cash so la samaya enna avuna in the project la cash um kuduthittu building um kudupanga so la only building kudupanga only cash kudupanga only cash kudutha problem illa normally 45 only vandrum only building ah andalum cash plus building vanda this section will be attracted so stamp duty value plus the cash will be taken as your consideration for the purpose of capital gains 
most important the year of taxability for court the department would argument in a jda agreement enter on any tax code not but now the section says you have to pay capital gains tax only in the year in which the certificate of completion for the project project completion certificate epo ipo da namba nachi kuda sonnaru 2 years not taxable enga irundhadu project completion la irundhu 2 years from the end of the financial year inge appadi da the project completion vaangira na endha varsham project completion vaangramo andha varsham the land owner will be taxable for what the building he gets for his portion of the land adana every consideration stamp duty value plus cash will be taken as the consideration specified agreement means a registered agreement in which a person owning the land or building or both agrees to allow another person to develop a real estate project on such land or building or both in consideration of a share being land or building or both in such project whether with or without payment of part of the consideration cash so of course romba clear ah kodutom only cash na the section ore varad but is partly cash and partly building varum only construction one one building construction ummude idla section welcome so ore or important related point idla enna na the tds provisions la 194 ic nu or section irukku the 194 ic la enna solranga na in the jda la cash component irundha na jda la cash component irundha na there will be a 10% tds to be deducted adha appo namba paakala appo amma na sonna kuda ungalukku puriyadhu 45 5a theriyama 45 5a irukkadhukku cash component da 10% tds na nee sir modhala 45 5a nu solunga sir nee kekku adhanal appo namba solla so in the cash component if it is there in jda the cash component ku 10% tds will be deducted under 194 ic so adhe in the or point adha bro so appo illa ore or point enna na before the jda is complete aadathukku munadi enoda share if i sell adana this section will not apply that means this section will apply only when i get the consideration by way of building in my project jda va irukum jda mudikkaradhukku munadi indha project na vera yaarukku na the share vittirana 45 5a will not apply and in the section uh, again very important section but for recent introduced section or last 2 3 years are there but exam la general la varadilla doesn't mean it's not important but varadilla avladha so sure now we'll take a one one 5 minutes to join put give me 5 minutes time or 5 minutes to join put